Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Who Who's stuck on a fuck boy on a, or a fuck girl here? Okay. Um, somebody here is stuck on somebody that was not treating them well. Somebody that continuously doesn't treat them well. Someone that disrespects them. Doesn't give them what they deserve. Whatever the case may be, somebody is stuck on somebody that it's just not they deserve better than okay um you guys may even be trying to ask yourself that question like why am i even stuck on this person like why do i even like them They're, what why did I let this person do this to me? Why did I let them do that to me? Like, you guys can even be doing a lot of contemplating or introspecting when it comes to that. Like, what what is it that makes me allow this? Um, What part of me do I need to heal and work on so that I don't end up in situations like this again? Um, you, This is somebody that you, you haven't gotten over them, but you're not in contact with them. It's like things are kind of they're at a standstill. They aren't moving forward. It's like a dead end situation. Um, and it's just, you guys are kind of feeling like you made the wrong decisions or you're just thinking about the decisions you made in regards to this person. You do feel like you maybe you have, it's like kind of like regret energy. Like, why did I even put myself through that? How did I get myself to this point? But spirit is saying here that you didn't make any, everything that happened was supposed to happen the way that it did. You were supposed to meet this person. Things were supposed to happen the way that they did. Um, it says, just because you hit a dead end doesn't mean that you took a wrong turn. The stagnation is meant to increase and deepen your spiritual awareness. So we have love sacrifice on the back of the deck. Yeah, don't sacrifice yourself in seeking love. You'll end up unhappy and hating yourself for it. Yeah, you guys are being really hard on yourselves because you guys settled for some shit that you really weren't okay with or that you knew was beneath you okay but you just did it because you wanted somebody to love you you wanted somebody to like you you wanted somebody to accept you you um you didn't want them to reject you yeah be with someone who makes you feel good yep so let's get a few more of these we have trust the feeling okay so your intuition is strong right now. If something doesn't feel right, trust that no one else can tell you what's right or wrong for you. What is this? Yum. Oh. So is there is this person? Is this person that you guys have this that you, this fuck boy or this fuck girl who has the good sex uh trying to come back around here? Cause that's what it looks like. Yeah somebody's about to come back around and like it's gonna be real tempting because this person is good in bed or something like that like there's something about this person that is a little bit you know tempting or irresistible but you got to think about how you feel every time this person does something to disrespect you or it's like you guys keep again that repeating cycle energy coming through like you got to think about how you feel after this person ghosts you or after you feel when this person does whatever they do to dis disrespect you wow 444 four, four on the camera when i've seen that yeah you got to think about how every time you know you let this person back in or you give into temptation you sleep with this person whatever and then some everything goes to shit again and you end up in this place again where you're just like sitting there like wow why did i do that like why did I let that person come back into my life? Like, why did I do this? Like, but somebody says the sexual chemistry is so powerful that they awaken the romantic and the animal inside of you. It can be dangerous if not handled with care. And it is dangerous in this case. And spirit is saying that your intuition is trying to ping you, you know, tell you that this is probably not best to indulge. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let's see. Let's get a few more. So we have workout and we have get out of bed some of you guys are kind of get, are you guys depressed over this person yeah some of you guys are depressed over this person or just the whole situation and as a whole like you're you're just depressed that you even got to this point you guys have not you guys were so busy trying to make this person happy or prove yourself to them or whatever you were doing that you stopped taking care of yourself like you should have so yeah some of you guys be feeling very tired and exhausted some of you guys spirit says going to the gym will be beneficial for you Using sleep as an escape from reality is only a temporary fix. You're a fighter. Look at everything you've overcome. Don't give up now. It's time to shape up. Work out, eat well, and sleep well. They're just telling you to take care of yourself, whatever that looks like for you. You'll thank me later once you start to see the rewards of your hard work. Anything else? 
angel with love. Trust that your love life is being divinely guided and protected. Your angels know exactly how much information you can handle right now. So you're they're they're keeping things from you right now. Your guides, your ancestors, whatever, the divine. It's like they got something going on behind the scenes. Something's in the works for you, but they are not wanting to reveal all this to you yet. See, we have, hmm, guys, didn't I just say a repeating cycle? So let me get this straight. You want to go down that path again and repeat that same cycle all over again? Tell me you're joking. So, yes, you have a past person coming back around. Yep. <laughs> and Spirit says you need to trust your intuition because this person is possibly with this love stuck energy here. They're trying to keep you stuck or they do keep you stuck. Yeah. You guys have, I feel like, been doing a lot of introspection about what this person has done to you and maybe how you want to handle it the next time and things like that. And I feel like, yes, this person is coming back around to try to repeat some type of cycle with you, using sex as a weapon or sex as a way to keep you stuck on them. But because you guys have done all this introspection, you've really been thinking about, like, do I even really like this person? Like, is it just sex? Like, what is it? Like, why am I so stuck on this person? Because you guys have maybe really gotten to the root of that. This person coming back around, it's just not going to be the same way. Let me get one more. Yep, smell the roses. Yep. I feel like you guys, yeah. I just feel like you guys woke up to something. Stop and smell the roses. Don't forget to see the beauty beyond your ambitions and enjoy those little things in life. Okay, give me one more. Okay, I guess they said two more. We have spellbound and we have maturity here. So... Caught up in your spell. Just be careful what you wish for. Your manifestation is coming. Is it truly what you want? Mature love is not letting love consume you, but rather gracefully accepting the dangers, the beauty, and the power of love. What? Get goals. So you guys have been focusing on yourselves. I'm telling you, there's something about you focusing on yourselves and like really taking care of you. This is, yeah, it's like there was a, there was like a time your love life wasn't working out or a situation in love wasn't working out for you or you weren't finding your person because we're just saying that there was something else you needed to accomplish first when it came to work or your goals. It says, this is not the time to focus on love, babe. Set your goals and crush them. Love will find you when you least expect it. So don't go searching for it. Yeah. This may even be somebody that you, you start off as friends with. You guys are about to find true love and it's going to be very unexpected. True love is like a tattoo. It will leave an imprint on your heart that will last forever. True love never dies. But that already makes me feel like it's somebody you already know, though. What do they mean it's never going to die? So that means, like, this is somebody you already know. It's probably this person. Focus on building a friendship before becoming lovers. It's almost like somebody's coming back around. Oh, I know exactly what's going on this time. So, okay, there's a lot of things. So you guys were trying to manifest this because it says, caught up in your spell, just be careful what you wish for. So you guys were wishing for this person something, for them to grow up. For them to like do right by you. Spirit is saying that that manifestation is still coming in. But when it comes in, you guys may be like, I don't know. You know what I mean? But I just feel like you're going to be putting somebody on the back burner. And why do I feel like this is th this is what this person did to you? Like you're really stepping into your divine feminine, divine masculine energy here. Yep. Boundaries. Yep. You're setting your boundaries. It's like you're putting other things before this person now. Yes, there's love there. But maybe you're going to tell this person, eh, maybe we can just be friends right now. Or you're just not going to make them a priority in your life. You're not going to drop everything for them anymore. Yeah, focus on building a friendship. Yeah, get to know them for who they are without letting attraction. Yeah, it's like you may be like trying to have, you like, we can have a relate. We can, we can maybe hang out, but we're not sleeping together. You're not coming to my house. You're not uh, coming over at 12 in the morning. No, it's like, it's going to be different this time. You're going to have your boundaries in place. So it's going to really show if this person's serious about you or not, because if they really love you, they'll want more than sex from you, right? They'll want more than just passion. A one night stand, whatever. So it's like you're making this person really work for you this time around. And I think it's actually going to work in your, like, that's exactly what you needed to do in the beginning. Yeah. Pain is a part of growing. Don't numb the pain. It's okay to allow emotions to feel, allow yourself to feel your emotions so you can start your healing journey. Yeah. Just be careful of becoming a little bit too closed off. Yeah. Fate will play a role in your love life. Pay attention to people who come into your life unexpectedly. Stay curious and keep exploring. What is this unexpected energy? Who's coming into their life unexpectedly? False cravings. Don't let it get out of control. Emotional eating will not help you. Make peace with your internal trigger. Trigger. Ooh. Peace with your internal distress. Heal your triggers. So what does that do with unexpectedly somebody coming into your life? 
an unconventional love. What is this? A different kind of love may not be socially accepted, but don't be afraid to break free and follow your own rhythm to stay true to yourself. Huh. So I don't know. Some of you guys, what is unconventional? Oh, some of you guys, it's a, um, a person that you live at a distance from. Blowing smoke. They're just blowing smoke in your face. Don't trust everything. That's what this person wants from you. Take a vacation from your love life. They're just telling you, maybe you need to take a break from love. Maybe you guys have already been doing this, but somebody's coming in and they're uh, they're BSing here. Yeah, don't try everything. Don't trust everything he tells you, babe, or they or her or she tells you. Remember, actions speak louder than words. I told you. Let make this person. Prove it to you. What is unconventional about this, though? A gift? What is the unconventional love? Some of you, it's a same-sex couple. Love trip. What? Love offer. Okay. What do they need to know about this, though? Your mirror. See? Oh, there it is right there. The, the reason why it's unconventional is because this person has another person. Babe, it's up to you if you want to make yourself an option, but why would you want to wait around for a person to make a choice to dictate your direction? Yeah, this person, they're going to have something that's not, they don't want to, uh, they're coming in with this love offer, but there's a motive here. Yep, it says, wherever you're going, make sure you use protection. Heavy on that. They're just wanting to have like a passionate little like rendezvous with you or something here. They may even want to gift you something. What do they need to know about this person unexpectedly reappearing? Because tough girl. So it says, yep, your strength intimidates them. They're hoping you make the first move, but don't. Any man or woman worth fighting, worth having must match more strength. Yeah. You're going to... You're, you're on a, a whole new level when this person wants to come towards you. Yeah, they're going to pop back in out of nowhere. And you're a lot stronger than you used to be. Yeah, you're going to make this person, like, court you. Or you're going to make this person, like, how do I say this? Didn't I say you guys are snap? Didn't I say you guys are waking up to something? Yep. Snap out of it. Get over it. It says they're going to be sorry they lost you. So stop worrying. Forget the past. It's time to let go. And I feel like you guys did do that. You guys were resentful towards this person. Yep. Give yourself permission to feel anger and resentment. Breathe and let it go with love. Forgive yourself for not knowing better. Yeah, I told you. Stop being so hard on yourself. Some of you guys are about to get back out there and start dating again. Focusing on your children too for some of you. But I'm telling you, they're gonna, you're going to make this person come in and either give you something traditional, old-fashioned. Like they're, they're going to have to court you. Like old school. The old school love wins. Don't try to rush the process. It takes time to build a real solid and healthy relationship. Give them time. They're not telling you to wait on this person, but don't. They're telling you to not rush into anything with this person. Make this person really prove themselves to you. And like for some of you, don't sleep with this person until marriage or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like make this person really work for you. Like they got to like do something very significant before you decide to get into bed with them. And if they, like I said, if they really want to, they will do it. All right, let's get more information on this. This is interesting. <laughs> this is a little... Yeah. I don't know. Why do they tell me to use that deck? Hmm. I must listen when they tell me to do something. Because when I don't listen to them, it bites me in the ass too, guys. Yeah. All right, so, so we have the, I feel like this is you guys, this Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but we're going to see more in a second that with those boundaries in place. Yep. 
It's like, you're going you're gonna to have certain standards for this person to me. And if they don't meet those standards, they don't have access to you. Like, oh, you want to you wanna sleep with me? Uh, no, you got to do this, this, and this before we get to that point. It's that type of energy. And it's like, this. it's going to be really intimidating to them. I don't think they're maybe even expecting it. We have the Ace of Swords here. The Seven of Wands. You guys are very guarded. The boundaries, heavy boundaries here. Ripped apart. Goodness. It's almost like in that, you know, sexual intimacy was like kind of like, I don't know, was the, the if you really take a step back and look at it, I'm not saying that there's not deeper feelings and emotions there. There probably is. But when it came to like your interactions with this person and your relationship with this person, I feel like it was like a lot of sex. Like it was like more sex based. And like, even though you maybe had feelings and emotions for this person, they were not more, they weren't that much into their feelings and emotions okay this person thinks with their you know you know you know what so there's something about taking that out of the equation that's giving this person clarity about how their feelings it's getting them more into their heart space why is okay what about ace of swords yeah the tower scorpio energy some type but what's the tower moment Oh, clean up. Yep. Doing the inner work, cutting karmic ties. What does this have to do with my collective, though? The Ten of Wands. What's the Ten of Wands mean for my collective? You guys walked away. I'm telling you. Is somebody, is somebody not expecting you to walk away from them and let them go? But it's like, it's a, it's a tower moment. It's giving clarity here. What about the Frozen card, though? The Knight of Wands. See, somebody's coming in out of nowhere. I'm telling you, very unexpectedly. You're going to realize that somebody didn't let you go. And now what? They're coming in out of nowhere. Yeah, both you guys, Nine of Cups, the Sun. You guys both view each other as wish fulfillment. And you, you both feel like you make each other happy. So what's the problem then? This person's resisting change. Oh, Spirit says things are about to get better. What, what, what's been the holdup here? The High Priestess, Pisces Energy, and the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. This person was hiding that they had other options. Yeah, somebody couldn't was not listening to their intuition, and they were entertaining more than one person here. They couldn't make up their mind about what path they wanted to go down. So, if they viewed you, they could have been holding on to somebody from their past, too. But with the Nine of Pentacles here, they could be leaving that behind. Yeah, with Five of Pentacles after that and the Hermit. Yeah, they're, they're withdrawing from some type of karmic partner. It's like somebody finally feels ready to let go of somebody, somebody or a way of living. Yeah, Spirit says it's time. Yep, it's time. Why? Why are they feeling like they're ready now? Yep, death. But why? They're ready to change. But why? The Two of Swords. Why do they feel ready to change or let something go? The Hierophant. Taurus energy. What about the Hierophant? Resisting. Yeah, they've been resisting committing to you. But why are they feeling like they're ready to actually let go of all their options and commit to my collective now? They're finding something out or they're seeing something. What is it? The Ace of Wands. What's up with my collective? Children? What about children? The Three of Cups. Oh. Some, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of you guys are getting back together with your baby daddy or your baby mama. Okay? I know. And like, this is different from whoever this is. There's somebody that's watching you or is curious to, is somebody worried that you're getting back together with your baby mama or your baby daddy? Is that something that, that wasn't, this is probably not your reading. How do I say this? This person over here, this one that is, keeps trying to just have sexual based connection with you. They're starting to feel like they want to leave their options behind because this person is, they feel threatened by whoever your ex is. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. They feel threatened by whoever. You're whoever you have to whoever you were married to before or whoever you have kids with. Okay. I don't know if that, that was something that was that happened before. Like you did go back to your ex before and you had maybe thought about going back to your ex, like the person that you have your kid you were married to or you have kids with. But there's somebody here that is curious to know if you've gotten back together with somebody here. And I feel like for a lot of you with the children card coming out, mm -hmm, it's somebody that you have children with or that you've known since you were a child. Anything else? Yeah, forbidden. Why for, forbidden here? Taming hunger. Why do they feel like it, it's forbidden to come towards you? 
Six of Wands. It's, this person just feels like they see you doing so well without them. They kind of feel like you're kind of like surpassing them. They were like waiting for something, but now someone's taking action with the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag energy to do what? Yeah, I told you it's time now. Yep. They were trying to get you to put your life on hold for them. Keep being in whatever this was that you guys were doing together. But now they think that, what is, are they so, is it jealousy? Ten of swords. What is, is are they jealous? The devil in the world. They're putting an end to something toxic here. Yeah, because they view you as their ultimate happiness and fulfillment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's almost like this person's about to try to come back towards you to sleep with you. You're not going to go for it. They're going to assume that it's because you are with somebody else. And for a lot of you, they're thinking that it's the person that you have kids with. If you don't have kids with anybody, they're thinking that was the person you used to be married to. Or the one that they, they knew you were in a long-term relationship with before. Like, they feel like you've gone... Because you know what this person's doing? Projecting. Did this person go back to somebody that they had kids with two, 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 two on the camera as I'm saying this, or did this person go back to somebody that they were in with for a long time? Somebody that felt comfortable to them. This person projects a lot. They think, okay, it's like this person doesn't so much think that you have found somebody new. I mean, they might, they, they maybe consider that considering that, but it's more so that this person thinks that you went back to your comfort zone because that's what this person does. So you're dealing with somebody that did have another person. They had, they went back to somebody from their past, somebody that felt comfortable to them. And now, I don't know what happened in that situation. I see that, that I don't know, they're coming back towards you. And you're going to not take them back. And they're going to assume it's because you went back to somebody that you were comfortable with. All right, does that make sense, what I'm saying? That's just this person's logic. That may or may not be the truth. But they just they're going to assume that if you're not letting them come back in, it's because you have somebody else that you're doing that with now. All right, let's get some more clarity. <laughs> They're feeling, it's like they're, they're going to feel, there's somebody that this person feels threatened by. So they're aware of one of your exes or somebody you used to be with, or they're just thinking about that. I mean, they may not be aware of it, but there's somebody who this person has already been like worried about you maybe going back to or settling back down with. For us, with the hair font coming out, I feel like it was somebody you were married to or that you were in a commitment with before. All right, tell me more. So we have unexpected, I'm telling you. The answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. I'm telling you, that's what they're about to realize. They're not expecting this. So they're coming in out of the blue. I don't even know what they're coming in for, but they're coming in because they want to sleep with you. But I don't know what exactly what they're going to say to you, but they're going to realize that like they're going to, something's about to slap this person in the face. They're going to realize that you have moved on. You're with another person. It's too late for them to try to come back to you. Yeah, healing here though. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection. I feel like for a lot of you, they haven't even walked completely away from whoever that other person is that they are dealing with. Yeah, justice in the dark night of the soul. Yeah. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves in the connection. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. Mm -hmm. Anything else? <laughs> Game over. Yeah, they know you're not playing with them no more. 
they hear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. And this is a tower moment for them. Because look how this girl has the sword, the ace of swords, and the tower is right underneath the ace of swords. The tower moment is them figuring out that you're no longer... Yeah, and I told you, you're going to have standards for this person now. Okay, if you can't do this, this, and this. Okay, you don't get to sleep with me. You don't get to come over to my house. We, we, nothing. We Nothing. You don't get to have access to me at all. And it's like, they're not going to be really expecting this. Yeah. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. Yeah, endings. They, what about endings? Power couple. What does endings have to do with my collective? Unfounded fear. What does endings have to do with my collective? Beauty and grace. I told you, they're very intimidated by you. Endings, what do do with my collective? See, they're putting an end to something. And I just saw lustful desires. So they maybe had another person that they were just strictly sleeping with or that they had a very lust-based connection with. It wasn't love. But whatever it is, it, it's like a karmic. They entered their, your life to te test you and teach you and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. Yep, and now we have uprooting. They are leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. It's, it's again, it's like when you and this person are on the outs, they go back to whoever this person is that they have like history with or that they have, they, is their comfort zone. And it's just, it's not, there's nothing really there. I don't know. They've been holding on to that person for way longer than they should have. But they see you as this person that they could have this power couple dynamic with. They see you. They see that both of you have an equal exchange of power, which can make you unstoppable as a, unstoppable as a couple. They definitely have been going back and forth between you and this person or just like kind of jumping, like not able to make a decision. They are trying to make sense of this connection, but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes. Yeah, but yeah. Then I, I I said this earlier. They find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving, and we have unfounded fear. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. Why are they afraid to get hurt? One more. Haunted. They their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart, and you moving on with someone else. I'm telling you. Why are they afraid of hurt, getting hurt though? Awakening to what? missing you maybe they felt like with that beauty and grace card they didn't feel deserving of you they just thought you were going to end up leaving them or finding somebody better than them or you were going to end up choosing somebody else over them so they just didn't even go in too deep with you because they thought you were going to end up hurting them by leaving them abandoning them whatever but they're starting to realize that that was an illusion that you weren't going to do that they're missing you but they definitely are worried about you moving on and being with somebody else like they're losing sleep over this or they're about to be or they're about to be or they're